assalamu alaikum my name is tamur sikandar and today we are going to create a navigation menu using our drawer layout so this dashboard we have designed in the last tutorial so in this tutorial uh, we will be implementing this navigation menu which has a header and a menu and the header contains some images with the background and the menu contains three blocks and when we click on the profile in the login button and again go back you can see we have a profile and logout and when we log out then profile and logout will be disappear and login will start appearing so this is what we will be creating when we press back button so instead of closing the application our drawer is closing so this is what we will be creating stick together watch the video till end so this video will be in three parts so let's get started in the previous video we have designed this dashboard that is in front of you with some card views and a custom toolbar as well so today we are going to create a navigation drawer so first of all we need to add some icons so in the resource go to the drawable right click and new go to the vector asset to add some icons click on the clip art select the icon click ok change its name change its name and color choose click next and finish to add okay in the same way we will add all the other icons okay we have added all the icons inside the driver now we want to add a menu for that we need to add a menu folder first go to the resource right click new and create a new android resource directory choose menu in the resource type let it be menu for the directory name click ok we have a menu folder here right click on the menu folder new and create a new menu resource file give it a name and click ok now next inside the resource go to the layout and right click new and add a header file layout resource file and name it header click ok ok we have added the header file inside the layout and menu file inside the menu folder open the menu file go to the text and in here add a menu first we need to add a group with its checkable behavior single means only single item can be clicked at one time closing bracket and inside the group we will add items give it an ID and ID will be nav underscore home then title of the item and last thing is the icon And icon will be home icon close this copy and paste as many times as we need okay we have created our first group okay again create a group this is also checkable behavior will be single for this group as well and add some items or simply paste them copy and paste these items but now we don't need an ID and also we don't need an icon we just want to give a title and the title will be profile and add a closing bracket now inside the item add a menu <clears throat> and inside the menu we need to paste the items as many items we want three items 
gain the name and icon as well press alt control l to rearrange the lines okay now at the last we simply create item and give it a title add a menu as well closing brackets and inside the menu we want to add items two in this case our menu is ready and the next thing we want to design is the header file go to the header we have just created and go to the text inside the linear layout press alt control l to align the lines and then we will use a linear layout and in the linear layout we want to change the height currently it is covering the whole screen but we want to make it 200 dp for this example then we want to add a background and also change its gravity to bottom now in the linear layout we want to add image view width will be 75 dp and height will be 75 dp <clears throat> then add source and close it add some padding to the background Okay, now we have to add text view, wrap content and text will be text size will be 24 SP, close it and again add another text view. With the wrap content and its text size will be 14 SP. Close it. Now we want to add a font family. Please go to the design and click on the text view search for the font family and inside you can go for the more fonts and you can find all the google fonts choose whatever you like but currently i have uh, these two fonts for my project select the font select another text view and add its font as well okay now we have fonts our header is ready okay now our header is ready as well and our menu is ready in the next part we will add this header and the menu to our project and we also do the coding part as well okay that's it for this tutorial subscribe the channel if you are new and hit the bell icon for the news thank you for watching take care Allah Hafiz.